a very good evening to all of you sorry to keep you waiting i had back to back lectures today and uh, my ca inter lecture got over very late so okay good evening everyone it's lovely to see all of you hi ankita good evening hi steffi kinnari arfan hi naman has asked an interesting question puchta hai how do you feel by writing ca in your name naman i'll be very frank with you when uh, i had uh, opted for ca that time i didn't know the importance mujhe laga yaar sab kar rahe hain chalo mere sare friends kar rahe hain hum bhi kar lenge and uh, even uh, while uh, pursuing this course itna nahi pata tha yaar ki ca matlab kya hota hai then when i cleared and i started working and uh, you know teaching karne lage धीरे धीरे ये कोर्स की इम्पोर्टेंस एंड इसके जो बेनिफिट्स हैं इसमें जो जो फील होता है ना वो बाद में मालूम पड़ने लगा एक्चुअली और इट्स अमेजिंग आई एम टेलिंग यू आई ऑलवेज टेल माय स्टूडेंट्स कि सी हैज गिवन मी एवरीथिंग टुडे द फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी दैट आई एंजॉय इन माय वर्क एंड यू नो मैंने मेरा कॉरपोरेट जो जॉब था आई लेव दैट इन आई थिंक नाइन मंथस और समथिंग and after that I started teaching तो मैं ये जम्प इसीलिए कर पाई बिकॉज आई वॉज अ चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट मतलब आप मुझे बोलो कि मैम अकाउंट सिखा दो लॉ सिखा दो ऑडिट सिखा दो आई कैन डू इट बिकॉज पता है कैसे करते हैं वो एंड ये जो जम्प मैंने लिया दैट वॉज पॉसिबल ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ माई डिग्री दैट कॉन्फिडेंस विच आई हैड यार कर लेंगे कुछ तो कर लेंगे दैट वॉज ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ दिस डिग्री and i started valuing my degree a lot after that after i realized ki nahi yaar ca karne ke baad tum to kidhar bhi fit ho jate ho so i think uh, aapko bahut early age mein hi iska impact uh, pata chal raha hai which is very good but later to you, you will you will feel it wo main bol rahi hu aapko so work hard for it and uh, i'm sure you will all see success because bahut sincere students hai I'm, uh, I go through your names बहुत regularly आप लोग आ रहे हो very good नीरज हाय आपकी maths की class थी hi प्रथम hi रम्या good evening everyone hi साई नीरज का message आया था बोलते हैं उसकी maths की class थी good to see you here but चलो यार हमारे ट्वेंटी minutes चले गए and uh, let's get started with the third unit आज मुझे contract act finish करना है सो टुडे नॉन स्टॉप करेंगे देखते हैं अगर हम कर सकते हैं कि नहीं यस नमन आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग आप अभी से ही फील कर रहे हो तो बहुत अच्छी बात है वो वेरी गुड चलो गाइस लेट्स लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड हाँ आज कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अगर फिनिश करना नॉन स्टॉप जाते वील गो नॉन स्टॉप टूडे लेट्स सी इफ वी कैन फिनिश इट टारगेट लेके चलते हैं ऑल दो वी हैव स्टार्टेड लेट लेट्स सी कर पाते हैं कि नहीं ओके okay? चलो Our time starts now, huh? Capacity to contract, capacity to contract. Yes, all charged up. All are ready. क्या बात है यार नीरज क्या बात है You skip the maths class for law. क्या बात है Good good. चलो guys, let's get started. Yes, let's get started. Okay, Naman. वील डिस्कस दैट लेटर अभी नहीं बाद में करेंगे बाद में करते हैं ठीक है मुझे याद दिलाना नमन जस्ट रिमाइंड मी हाय जतिन हाउ आर यू चलो ओके कैपेसिटी ऑफ पार्टी सेक्शन इलेवन दिस सेक्शन नंबर इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू यू नीड टू मेमोराइज द सेक्शन नंबर कैपेसिटी टू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट मीन्स हु आर केपेबल ऑफ एंटरिंग इन टू अ वैलिड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सो वी हैव मेजर पर्सन person of sound mind and person who is not disqualified hi pallavi welcome good evening so only a person who is competent to contract he is capable can enter into a valid contract major means someone who has completed 18 years of age arfan ne mere ko answer de diya tha so in other words can i say that minor cannot enter into a contract person of unsound mind or person who is disqualified cannot enter into a valid contract 
this is very important for theory as well as case based question more for case based question minor pe kafi case case based questions aate hain who will tell me the most important case law over here minor mein case law ka naam kya hai jaldi batao i am i don't want to show it to you thoda hide kar leti hu yes all good guys all good acha laga sabko dekh ke Good evening, Hari Om. Contract is void. I have initio. I'll include that. Yes, contract is void. I have initio. Case law's name. Chahiye tha mujhe. I want you to write the case law. I want ki aap type karo. Case law's name. Spelling, spelling ke liye. Yes. Mohri B B versus Dharmadas Ghosh. Mohri B B. Hi Heath. Bhumika, correct answer. Mohri B B versus Dharmadas Ghosh. So Dharmadas was a minor. He falsely represented his age and obtained a loan of rupees twenty thousand from Brahmadat. Brahmadat ne actually usko sirf eight thousand diye the. Yes, Brahmadat gave him only eight thousand rupees. He had Dharmadas gave his property as mortgage house. Later, वो बोलता है कि भाई मैं तो minor हूँ. I can't enter into contract. Mortgage cancel करो. Mortgage was cancelled. धर्मदास गॉड गॉड बैक हिज हाउस अब ब्रह्म दत्त बोलता है भाई मैंने जो पैसे दिए वो तो वापस कर दो मोरी बी बी इज द वाइफ ऑफ ब्रह्म दत्त सो इन दिस केस लॉ डिसाइडेड दैट ही वॉज अ माइनर वेन ही एंटर्ड इनटू अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एनी एग्रीमेंट विद माइनर इज वॉइड एव एन ईशियो कुछ भी नहीं मिलेगा उसको सो ओवर यर मोरी बी बी या यू कैन से ब्रह्म दत्त हर हजबेंड दे लॉस्ट द केस Nothing could be recovered. Money given to minor cannot be recovered. Okay, money given to minor cannot be recovered. Parents or guardians can enter into a contract on behalf of the minor, but they should be for the benefit of the minor. You must have seen no. आजकल टीवी पे कितने बच्चे आते हैं? Like uh, uh, what is that? India's Got Talent, then uh, Junior Stars and all that. So. All and uh, even in uh, case of television serials or movies, तो उनके लिए contracts करते हैं parents. Minor cannot hold the parents or guardians liable by his act unless and until he is acting like the agent of the mind uh, as the agent of the guardian. Like I always prefer giving an example over here कि आपकी मम्मी ने आपको बोला sorry आपकी मम्मी आपको लेकर गई and she went to the shopkeeper and told ये जो भी लेकर जाएगा ना ये ये जो भी लेकर जाएगा बाद में मैं पेमेंट कर दूंगी ओके देन शी सेंट यू टू ब्रिंग राइस व्हीट फिर एक बार बोला जाओ मैगी लेके आओ और बिस्किट लेके आओ फिर आपको लगा यार मम्मी बहुत काम करा रही है सो वन डे यू गॉट चॉकलेट देन यू गॉट चिप्स फिर आप और आपकी आपकी हिम्मत बढ़ गई आपने कोल्ड ड्रिंक भी ले ली इन दी एंड मॉम हैड टू पे फॉर इट बिकॉज मम्मी ने खुद ही शॉपकीपर को बोला था ये जो लेके जाएगा उसको दे देना ओके यस आरती सो इन दिस केस योर मॉम हैड इन्फॉर्म द शॉपकीपर दैट ही वॉट एवर ही बाइज आई विल पे फॉर इट सो इन दैट केस शी इज गिविंग एन इम्प्रेशन दैट यू आर हर एजेंट सो इफ यू है इफ यू हैव बॉट चॉकलेट चिप्स इवन दो शी हैज नॉट ऑथराइज यू टू बाई दैट you will still be considered as her agent and in that case you can hold the guardian liable so in this case minor cannot hold his parents liable he can hold his parents liable only if he is acting as the agent so or i'll i'll add it over here parent or guard uh, minor cannot hold his parent or guardian unless minor acts as agent of guardian okay in that case the guardian or the parent will be liable parents or guardians can enter into a contract for minor but they cannot hold the minor liable for purchase of immovable property they cannot buy property in the name of minor they can sell property but they can't buy the minor's property even if minor falsely represents his age contract is void have any issue he can always plead minority ki main to minor hu mujhe to kuch samajh mein nahi aata the case will always go in favor of the minor so never give money to a minor 
minor cannot ratify the agreements after majority now he entered into a contract during minority the contract is void ab initio minor turned major he cannot confirm he cannot ratify the acts entered during minority once void always void students please highlight this as important for exam questions are asked generally correct incorrect question will be asked on this can minor ratify the contracts on enter, on becoming a major you will say no super duper important section 68 the section number is also important in case necessaries are supplied to minor recovery is possible from the property of the minor okay minor is not personally liable but his property is liable now i have a question over here students what will be included in necessaries what is included in necessaries i have a question for you what is included in necessaries we have food clothing shelter education money given for funeral expenses uh, legal advice all this is considered as necessary okay i have one more question for you i have one more question but before that let me check your answers superb correct answer guys absolutely right food clothing shelter education money given for legal advice health yes medical that is all as if money is given for necessaries absolutely right students okay another thing what if minor doesn't have any property my next question for you is what if minor doesn't have property then what if minor doesn't have property then nothing can be recovered yes okay necessaries are those bare minimum okay survival for a group or society all right these are necessaries which these are uh, things that you need to uh, survive depending on the status of the person it depends on the socio cultural status yes very good bhumika if there are no if there is no property nothing can be recovered from the minor yes very good pratham if there is no property nothing can be recovered from the minor exactly correct very good very good guys minor can be appointed as agent because no consideration and no contract okay no consideration no contract is required to appoint an agent so minor can be appointed as agent who is an agent is just a connecting link between the third party and the principal okay now my question is if minor is appointed as agent who will be liable for acts of the minor will he himself be liable or will the principal be liable for acts of a minor who will be liable will the principal be liable or will the agent be liable yes correct the principal will be liable for the acts of agent principal will be liable naman correct luxury unnecessary articles like mobile phone that is not considered as necessary i just saw your comment yes the principal will be liable excellent guys naman niraj uh, sarthak janvi ramu or eh, kya baat hai sabne correct answer diya jodhvir yes you have all replied correctly superb guys very good maina cannot be member by allotment you cannot allot shares to a minor any allotment made to a minor is void okay it is void but he may be by transfer or transmission become holder of fully paid shares so what are the key words over here he can become a member by transfer he can become a member by transmission but only of fully paid up shares now can you tell me transfer is voluntary or by operation of law can tell me <coughs> yes tell me is transfer 
वॉलेंटरी और बाय ऑपरेशन ऑफ लॉ येस अलॉटमेंट इज वॉइड एबिनिशियो करेक्ट शगुन आई कैन एड दैट ऑल्सो नो प्रॉब्लम वॉइड एबिनिशियो येस गाइज वेरी गुड येस नवन ऑल गुड ऑल गुड ट्रांसफर इज वॉलेंटरी वेर एज ट्रांसमिशन इज बाय ऑपरेशन ऑफ लॉ ओके इट इज बाय ऑपरेशन ऑफ लॉ minor can be held liable for tort if the wrongful action is of a kind not contemplated by the contract many students don't understand this provision i'll explain it to you with the help of an example please pay attention guys minor is anyways not liable for tort now what is the meaning of tort tort means wrongful act okay right on the meaning of tort it means wrongful act now let's say for example x gave a horse to a minor for minor's own riding but minor gave it to y for y's riding y rode the horse or itna chalaya itna chalaya that the horse died now in this case minor was not authorized to give the horse to someone else for this wrongful action minor will be liable for this wrongful action minor is liable but what if x gave a horse to the minor and minor rode it himself okay he rode it but itna chalaya itna chalaya itna chalaya that the horse died in this case the minor will not be liable because he has performed a he has performed an authorized act okay he has performed an authorized act yes tort is a wrongful act you can also say it's a civil wrong yes it's a civil wrong it's a civil wrong civil means it is not criminal i don't have intention to cheat mens rea is not present over there okay mens rea means guilty mind is not present over there so in this case minor will not be liable because he has done some wrongful act in his authorized act okay so if he does something in an unauthorized act then he will be liable but in authorized act he will not be liable i hope you understood the example students next we have contract by person of unsound mind very simple if he is permanently unsound like an idiot okay permanently unsound like an idiot okay naman i think uh, yeah you for legal action he should be of that age but no other person also cannot disrespect all right so then we have contracts by person of unsound mind now unsound person can be permanently unsound like in case of an idiot or he may be temporarily of an unsound mind okay temporarily now if a contract is entered by idiot it is void ab initio he is not capable of entering into a contract a person is usually sound but occasionally means sometimes he becomes of an unsound mind like a person is usually sound but when he is under the influence of alcohol drugs then he is considered to be a person of unsound mind person is usually unsound but sometimes he is of sound mind see the bottom line is that you can enter into contract only when you are of sound mind if he has some lucid intervals lucid intervals means he is of sound mind the contracts entered by him are valid but uh if he is a lunatic during those intervals the agreement is void now i have a question for you okay i have a question for you when will we check the soundness of mind okay i have a question for you guys answer this when will we check soundness at the time of contract or we will check at the time of contract as well as at the time of performance when will we check soundness of mind tell me when will we check soundness of mind
soundness is checked only at the time of entering into contract he need not be sound always only at the time very good sarthak we will check only at the time of entering into contract he need not be of sound mind always so only at the time of contract he need not be sound at the time of performance very good guys so sarthak janvi pratham bhav uh, bhavni ramu bhumika correct ankita all have answered correctly very good guys arfan correct answer correct next we have persons who are disqualified by law the first one is alien enemy can a person enter into contract during war will it be valid can a person enter into contract during war will it be valid no person cannot enter into contract during war such contracts are void but what if i have already entered into a contract before war i have entered into a contract before war okay if we have entered into contract before war then we will analyze is it against public policy is it against public policy or if is it not against public policy so if it is against public policy yes if it is against public policy then what will happen to the contract tell me guys if it is against public policy then what will happen to the contract contract will be dissolved but if it is not against public policy then what will happen what will happen if it is not against public policy then in that case it will only be suspended it will be yes what is the meaning of a shout out yes what do you mean by a shout out please okay okay in this case it will be suspended yes absolutely right okay it will be suspended and it will be revived after the war is over it will be revived after the war is over correct bhumika yes you have answered in a detailed manner not against public policy it is suspended if it is against public policy it is void it's now impossible to enter into contract absolutely right yash instead of a shout out why don't you answer the question you are answering correctly what is this shout out okay then uh, what is uh, what in case of foreign sovereigns ambassadors diplomatic staffs representatives foreign states they cannot enter into contract they have immunity okay they have immunity they can enter into contract with us they can file case against us but we can't file case against them except with the approval of the central government so they have immunity they are all diplomatic now you cannot file a case against the king queen rulers president representatives of foreign state convict okay yes guys answer answer person is in prison yes a person is in prison can he enter into contract person is in prison can he enter into a contract <laughs> yeah okay आंसर करोगे तो नाम लूंगी नमन एंड यश आई विल टेक योर नेम ओनली इफ यू आंसर सो द कंडीशन इज दैट यू हैव टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन ऑल राइट सो इफ अ पर्सन इज इन प्रिजन ही कैन नॉट एंटर इनटू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट नो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑन कंप्लीशन ऑफ सेंटेंस और व्हेन ही इज ऑन परोल यस ही कैन एंटर इनटू अ वैलिड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ओके व्हेन ही इज ऑन परोल व्हेन ही इज आउट ऑफ प्रिजन ही कैन एंटर इनटू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट Insolvent cannot enter into contract. अरे इसके साथ contract करके क्या करेंगे No contract. 
he is an insolvent person he is not capable of contracting next company or statutory corporations under a special act of parliament company can enter into contract only if it is authorized by the memorandum statutory corporations which are formed under a separate act of parliament yes statutory corporations they are governed by their own statute statute so you you can have examples like ICA ISBI LIC RBI they can enter into contracts only which are authorized by the statute anything beyond this yes anything beyond this can you tell me the latin phrase what should i write anything beyond anything beyond this will be okay yes naman vests with official receiver means that in case a person is declared insolvent okay i can't declare myself to be insolvent i have to apply to the court the court will judge me as an insolvent i have to be adjudicated as an insolvent okay i have to be adjudicated as an insolvent as soon as a person is adjudicated as an insolvent all the assets and liabilities they go to the official receiver or assignee he will sell the assets and pay off the liabilities so vests with means they rest with they are with the official receiver jab jab insolvent ke paas uski property nahi hai to wo deal bhi nahi kar sakta okay i got the answers it is beyond the powers and the latin phrase which you have correctly identified for me is ultra vires so you are disqualified from entering into contracts which are ultra vires the memorandum foreign sovereigns will include king queen uh, foreign sovereigns will include ambassadors people who are coming from foreign country sovereigns generally include king queen monarchs rulers representatives of foreign state so with this we complete the capacity to contract let us quickly go through free consent okay free consent now section 13 defines consent and section 14 defines free consent section 13 defines consent and section 14 defines free consent see consent means parties must agree upon the same thing in the same sense the latin phrase is consensus ad idem now i say do you want to buy this pen you also agree so we are agreeing upon the same thing in the same sense we have consented and my consent should be free nobody is forcing me to enter into contract now consent is not free when it is caused by coercion undue influence fraud misrepresentation and mistake now coercion is discussed under section 15 undue influence 16 fraud 17 misrepresentation 18 mistake 2021 22 who will tell me what is given under section 19 i couldn't find this section section 19 and 19a what is given in this case what is given in section 19 and 19a who will tell me yes arfan correct so this spelling mistake hai consensus Yes, who will tell me what is written in section nineteen and nineteen A? In case the contract is induced by coercion, undue influence, fraud, misrepresentation, then the contract is voidable. Yes, the contract is voidable. This is given under section nineteen. This is given under section nineteen. Nineteen A actually discusses undue influence. So, in case the consent is obtained by coercion, undue influence, fraud, misrepresentation, then it is voidable. Legal effects of agreement without pre-consent. Okay, effect of coercion, undue influence, fraud, misrepresentation. What if, guys, consent is obtained by mistake? Then, in that case, the contract is. What will you write if the contract is that the consent is obtained by mistake?
in case the contract is such that the consent is obtained by mistake, then it is. Correct. So mistake is void. Yes, mistake is void. Others are voidable. Please make note of this. Okay. Now, students, please note, please note that in case a question. Correct. Very good, guys. Very good. Students, please note that in case a, in case a question is asked on coercion under influence, they ask definition. Okay, so you have to learn these definitions. How will they frame the question? Define uh, define undue influence or what is misrepresentation and then they will give you a case-based question. So you need to know the definition properly. In case of coercion, what is used? Coercion, what is used? Physical force, mental force. What is used in case of coercion? What is used in case of coercion? In case of coercion, there is physical force. Yes, in case of coercion, there is physical force. And what happens in case of undue influence? Undue influence, there is some kind of moral or mental pressure. Moral or mental pressure. Yes, see students learning the definition is important because a question is asked even with case-based question, they will ask you the definition. So coercion means committing or threatening to commit any act forbidden by the Indian Penal Code. So this involves criminal activities, unlawful detaining or threatening to detain any property to the prejudice of other means any property which belongs to the other person with the intention of causing that other person to enter into an agreement. We are not just using this for passing time. Our aim is that other person should enter into a contract. So please by heart the definition. Coercion involves physical force. It involves an act which is forbidden by the Indian Penal Code, IPC. Coercion may proceed from any person. It may be directed against any person, even a stranger. In a contract, you should have coercion. Coercion can proceed from any person. It may be by the party to the contract or any third party. Let's say, for example, X wants the house of Y, but he has asked the Don to coerce Y. It doesn't matter who is using coercion. There should be coercion in the contract. Contract is voidable. No relationship is required, but relationship will be required in case of undue influence. This is important for exam, threat to commit suicide amounts to coercion. Even if there is relation between the parties, threat to commit suicide amounts to coercion. That is specifically given in the act. Yes, Mahendra, correct answer. Ankita, correct answer. Coercion means the contract is voidable at the option of the party whose consent is so obtained. So what are the key words that you will remember in coercion? Definition to yes. But the key words are that it includes physical force. It includes acts with the, which are forbidden by the Indian Penal Code. It may be done by any person. It may be against any person. Threat to commit suicide amounts to coercion. In case of undue influence, there is some kind of moral or mental pressure between the persons whose relations are such that one person is in the position to dominate the will of the other person and he uses that position to obtain unfair advantage. Relation over here does not mean blood relation. It can mean any relation like teacher-student, then uh, solicitor-client, spiritual advisor-devotee. Hi Nikhil, how are you? Achha, wo aap the, kya? Achha, Nikhil, okay, okay. Yeah, you had sent a hi. How are you? You joined late or what? Okay. So here there is some kind of moral or mental pressure. We need relation between the parties. Fiduciary relation is required. Fiduciary means relation of trust and confidence. Yes, Naman, doctor, patient. Presumption hai. There is a presumption. You don't have to prove that there is undue influence. Wo hi hai. Wo hoi sakta hai. 
yes i have a telegram group i will share that also i will share my telegram group with you guys this is my telegram group okay this is my telegram group you can join we post quizzes over here and uh, other announcements yes teacher student there is undue influence so here in these cases there is a presumption of undue influence doctor patient solicitor client child parent guardian ward contract will be voidable at the option of the party whose consent is so obtained section 19a in case of fraud yes who will tell me what is the intention in case of fraud nikhil we already completed companies act on day 1 yes superb guys bhumika uh, jatin correct answer parent child solicitor client uh, spiritual advisor devotee absolutely right okay what is my intention in fraud what is my intention in fraud i am hiding this what is my intention in fraud what is the intention intention is to cheat can you give me a better word yes cheat and deceive i like the word deceive cheat and deceive the other party what is my intention to cheat or deceive the other party my intention is to cheat that person either to obtain money and run away with it or to enter into a contract yes very good it means and it includes the following acts acts which are committed by the party to the contract or it may be with his connivance with his support with his ideas planning scheming or it may be committed by agent my intention is to cheat to deceive the other party to obtain advantage from him money and run away or to enter into a contract so cheating deceiving in your exam write the word deceive it's a good word to write there is this is very important guys there is intentional false statement it is forbidden by the indian penal code now my question to you is what if there is false representation but it is not intentional then what will happen there is false representation but it is not intentional then what will happen very good bhumika you are framing proper sentences yes neeraj correct intention hai mera but what if there is no intention to cheat to fir kya aayega batao there is no intention to cheat maine false bola hai but there is no intention to cheat then in that case it is misrepresentation no neeraj it is not mistake it is misrepresentation correct navya naman ramya ramu correct answer jan jan we know it is misrepresentation no intention to cheat misrepresentation very good guys superb superb we are suggesting facts okay following acts amount to fraud following acts amount to fraud we are suggesting facts which is false and we know what we are saying is false hum jaan bujh ke jhoot bol rahe hain yes jatin very nicely written in case of misrepresentation there is false representation of facts but made without the intention to cheat or deceive the other party very good that is what you should write in the exam very nicely written jatin even your answers were very good in the test paper you sent so okay in this case any suggestion as to the fact if it is done knowingly then that will amount to fraud that will amount to fraud active concealment of fact is fraud naman you had said active concealment of fact is fraud my question is what if it is mere concealment my question is what if it is mere concealment what if there is mere concealment of fraud sorry mere concealment of facts mere concealment is not fraud the rule of caveat emptor applies over here buyer beware buyer beware now active concealment means the the defect is concealed in such a manner that the buyer will not come to know about it even after reasonable examination active concealment is fraud okay active concealment is fraud but mere concealment is not fraud 
no no seller will point out defect in his goods buyer must check the goods before buying buyer beware buyer beware i have made a promise but i have no intention of performing it that amounts to fraud or any other act wherein my intention is cheating deceiving is fraud there are certain places where law specially declares it to be fraud in like in case of sale of goods act pretended bidding is fraud so if it is written over there that it is fraud then yes i will consider it is fraud correct answer guys neeraj very good let the buyer be aware let the buyer be aware very good correct answer misrepresentation means yes there is false representation of facts but it is made innocently without any intention to cheat to deceive the other party so it is unintentional we have no intention of cheating deceiving the other party it is therefore not forbidden by the indian penal code okay nikhil yes guys so the person believes it to be true usko lagta hai ki jo main bol raha hu wo sach hai he doesn't know that it is false in case of misrepresentation the person has the right to rescind the contract or insist upon performance this shows that the contract is voidable this shows that the contract is voidable acha tell me acha tell me guys tell me tell me i want you to answer can he claim damages in case of misrepresentation can we claim damages or only about two remedies are available what do you think students can he claim damages no damages cannot be claimed i can only either cancel the contract or i can insist upon performance i can insist upon performance damages cannot be yes damages can be claimed in case of fraud in case of fraud i can claim damages but in case of misrepresentation nahi don't worry nikhil recorded dekh lena but we, i would love to for you to participate at least aap answer karoge likhoge i want you to do that so try karo ओके मिस्टेक मिस्टेक में हमारा की वर्ड क्या है व्हाट इज अवर की वर्ड इन मिस्टेक इट इज एन एरोनियस बिलीफ कंसर्निंग समथिंग सो द वर्ड दैट एग्जामिनर इज लुकिंग फॉर इज एरोनियस ओके प्लीज नोट द स्पेलिंग यू शुड नॉट मेक मिस्टेक इन स्पेलिंग एरोनियस बिलीफ एरोनियस नाउ मिस्टेक मे बी आइदर मिस्टेक ऑफ फैक्ट और इट मे बी मिस्टेक ऑफ लॉ मिस्टेक ऑफ फैक्ट मे बी बायोलैट्रल मिस्टेक और इट मे बी unilateral mistake what is the meaning of bilateral mistake i'm hiding this so that you don't see the answer what is the meaning of bilateral mistake what is the meaning of bilateral mistake yes jatin perfect answer harshvardhan instead of using the word wrong use the word erroneous that is the word which examiner wants in the exam don't write wrong okay mahendra yes correct answer ankita unanimous belief no no it's an erroneous belief unanimous means everybody is agreeing to it it's an erroneous belief yes okay in case of bilateral mistake what is the meaning of by yes harshvardhan very good answer by means it is mistake of both the parties then what will happen to the contract yes guys what will happen to the contract correct neeraj ankita erroneous belief yes default by both the parties uh, no it's not default it's not a default both parties are mistaken yes ramu correct both parties are mistaken the agreement is void ab initio the void. see if both the parties are mistaken then it makes no sense in entering into the contract in it cannot be performed now x and y they both believe that the horse is alive but the fact is that the horse is dead now both are mistaken it is a bilateral mistake the agreement is void in this case what if it is a unilateral mistake what is a mistake what is unilateral mistake uni means correct answer guys absolutely right answer yes ankita it is section 20 yes very good section 20 
What is the meaning of unilateral mistake? Uni means. What is unilateral mistake? Uni means it is mistake of one party. What will happen to the contract, guys? What will happen to the contract? Uh, no, Naman, uh, if, even if it is regarding the price, then the contract will be void. There is an example which is given in your module. See, for bilateral mistake, it should form an assent to the contract. If price is essential, then it will be void. Otherwise, if price is not an assent, it is not an essential fact, then it may be valid. For bilateral mistake, you should have three conditions to be satisfied. It must be mistake of both the parties. Then it must be mistake of fact and not of any value. Third is that it must relate to a fact which is essential. So if price is essential, then it will be void. Otherwise, it will not be void. Okay, so in case of mistake, we have uh, only uh, mistake of just one party. The contract is not generally void. It is mistake of only one party. Why should the other party suffer? So the agreement is, it does not render the agreement void. Can I say that it is mostly valid? But under two circumstances where there is mistake of identity. Okay, who will tell me the exceptions? Why should I answer? It is not my exam. What are the exceptions? Under these exceptional cases, agreement will be void. Exceptions kya hai? What are the exceptions? First is in case of identity, there is mistake of identity and what is the second one? What is the second one? Guys, I hope you are typing. Under fraud, no exceptions. Even though it is mistake of just one party, the contract will be void. Generally, it is not void. In case of mistake of identity, mistake as to the nature of documents. Mistake as to nature of documents. Now, I am signing a bill of exchange thinking that I am signing a paper of guarantee, agreement will be valid, uh, agreement will be void, even though it is mistake of just one party, agreement will be void. Mistake of Indian law, let's go to mistake of Indian law. Yes, Jatin, correct mistake as to the nature of contract, nature of documents. Then we have mistake of Indian law. You are supposed to know the law of your own country. You cannot say ki mujhe nahi pata. Agreement is generally not voidable. It means that the contract remains valid. In other words, the contract remains valid. Contract remains valid. That is why ignorance of law is no excuse. Yes, you cannot say mujhe nahi pata. If because it remains valid, you can file a case like say for example that um, I jumped the red signal. It's not a contract, but I'm supposed to know the law of my own country. I cannot say mujhe pata. when you're right, driving a car, you're supposed to know the traffic rules. Similarly, when you're entering into a contract, you're supposed to know the traffic rule. Sorry, you're supposed to know the law of your own country. You cannot say mujhe pata. So the contract remains valid. Perform it correctly. And because it is valid, we can also take action in the court of law. Yes, correct. Very good Latin phrase. Sabne barabar likha hai. But we cannot be expected to know the law of each and every country. So if there is mistake of both the parties in understanding the foreign law, then the contract is void. But they have not mentioned what if there is mistake of just one party. Then it depends on the facts of the case, whether the contract will be valid or void. It depends on the facts. 
so students with that we cover free consent and only the last part remains agreements which have which have unlawful object and unlawful consideration both are discussed under section 23 <clears throat> both go hand in hand if the object is unlawful the consideration is also unlawful agreements <clears throat> which are forbidden by law forbid word it's a hint that they are talking about illegal okay it's a hint that they are talking about illegal so when the object when the consideration is unlawful it is illegal agreements which defeat the provisions of law i don't want to go against any other law so in this case if my agreement is against some other law like say for example that x and y they agree that y can file a case even after 3 years are this is against the law of limitation which says that you cannot file a case after 3 years but they are agreeing that nahi nahi hum nahi mante hain we can file a case even after 3 even after 3 years such agreement will be void because it goes against the law of limitation agreements that have fraudulent object the object is unlawful it is fraudulent the consideration will also be fraudulent it causes injury to a person or loss of property the contract is such that if enforced it will cause loss or injury to the other party contract is void contract is void consideration is immoral like say for example giving house on rent to a prostitute so that she can carry out her trade okay it is defeating the provisions of law cutting a tree without the permission of the of the municipality correct this is important students consideration is opposed to public policy public policy uh, recently it is my observation that institute in every attempt or every alternate attempt is asking questions on agreements opposed to public policy and the questions always have confusing answers ye bhi ho sakta hai wo bhi ho sakta hai two three answers are possible so be very careful when you answer this question and generally a question is asked as question 1a the first question itself is on this public policy so trading with enemy you cannot enter into contract during war agreement is against the public society but but what if if i have entered into a contract then we will analyze if it is against public policy then it is void stifling prosecution what is the meaning of stifling prosecution yes who will explain what is stifling prosecution what is the meaning of stifle what is the meaning of stifling prosecution what is the meaning of stifling prosecution yes stifling prosecution means to stop your oneself from filing a case to stifle means to stop to prosecute means to file a case so stifling prosecution means to stop oneself from filing a case yes arfan very good very nice jatin one who has committed crime must be punished so if you are stopping yourself from reporting a crime no it is not bribe navya it's not bribe that bribe can be trafficking in public office trafficking means you're selling public jobs selling government jobs there you can say bribe stopping someone from filing a case yes neeraj very good naman it is abuse of the system of justice you are avoiding the system of justice correct marriage brokerage contract if a person if one party or both the parties or their parents or some third party receives money after the marriage takes place they are like brokers see in india all this is done by aunties 
hun are i have someone for you like i i uh, this person is not married i can suggest someone they do it they are acting like brokers they can't demand money for it because in india marriage is a sacred union marriage is not some buying and selling like commodities so if a person is acting like broker like dowry dowry okay example is dowry if the parents get money after the marriage takes place it's a marriage you are acting like brokers agreement is void now let me read the comments which you have given okay rohini roshni sorry a given one by you drop criminal proceeding pending in the court in consideration of amount of money is unlawful yes correct absolutely right compoundable offenses yes compoundable they can be settled outside the court but felony can't be settled outside the court yes harshvardhan non compoundable offenses they they cannot be settled out of the court compoundable yes they can be mutually settled between the parties dowry system yes correct compoundable can uh, yes i read your answer yes correct 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 interest again sorry and in agreements interfering with the system of justice please highlight this as important mostly questions are asked on this you have given bribe here also you can write bribe okay you have given bribe to the judge you are giving bribe to the police you are giving bribe uh, so that uh there is uh, uh sorry the the judgment is in your favor or a junior is giving money to the senior so that he is promoted you are interfering the judge ko paise dena police ko paise dena so that judgment is in your favor interest against obligation interest here means money you are getting money to go against your obligation now my obligation is to give the contract to a deserving candidate but i take bribe again here we can write bribe i take bribe and i give Uh, the the uh, contract to a person who is ready to pay me money again it is interfering with the system of uh, against it is against public policy sale or trafficking selling government jobs logic is the same in all the deserving candidate is left out and the one who is ready to give money will get the position he will get the contract so it is against the society it is against deserving candidates agreements which create monopoly any agreement which creates monopoly is void because monopoly is not a healthy situation single seller multiple buyers he is the price maker yes tendering actually should not be full of bribes but harshvardhan in tendering there is the, a lot of bribe otherwise tenders are generally to avoid all this bribe system champerty and maintenance now A gave money to B to help B file a case, and then B said, "If I win the case, I will share ten percent with you." So this sharing of the proceeds is known as this sharing of proceeds is known as champerty. But if A is merely helping B in maintain the case, or if A is merely helping B in filing the case without any sharing. then it is maintenance okay without any sharing of proceeds so when there is sharing of proceeds then it is champerty but if you are helping a person in the case you don't have any interest in the case but you are helping without any sharing then the term used is maintenance all right guys then we have agreements which are expressly declared void these are agreements which are expressly declared void so contracts which is unlawful in part section 24 very interesting very interesting the contract consists of two parts okay contract consists of two parts one part is legal and other is illegal what if the illegal part cannot be separated from the legal part i want you to answer naman uh, an arbitrator or any person charging as a percentage 
or you know getting any money after that is also not allowed because you are a professional you are you are not here to share the proceeds or uh, you are not here to any gain anything yes harsh correct if the illegal part cannot be separated from the legal part then everything becomes illegal the entire agreement the entire agreement will become illegal and hence void but what if illegal part can be separated from the legal part then what will happen to the legal part and what will happen to the illegal part what will happen to the legal part yes it is not severable correct then the legal part in this case will be valid and the illegal part will become void okay the legal part is valid and the illegal part will become void yes roshni correct answer harshvardhan correct answer sarthak correct answer kinnari jatin very good neeraj pratham excellent arfan very good sarthak illegal wale invalid correct very good guys next we have agreements in restraint of marriage section 26 every agreement and restraint of marriage is void now my question is except acha it is given over here except minor you cannot stop a person from marrying a person of his or her choice india is a free democratic country we can marry any person of our choice once we attain the age marriageable age so x tells y i will give you 5 lakh rupees don't marry z this is partial restraint X tells Y, I will give you five lakh rupees. Don't marry ever. Complete restraint. In India, whether the restraint is complete or partial, every kind of restraint is void. But you can restrict marriage of a minor. Navya, if there is restriction. your reasonable period is not given in minor you can say yes please wait for the minor to turn major that can be considered yes harshvardhan majority is as per the majority act which is 18 and for marriage it is different for girls it is 18 for boys it is 21 every act has its own definition of terms so indian contract act considers the age of majority as it is given in the majority act super important for exam i cannot even begin to tell you how important section 27 is very very important for exam students bahut important hai ye see you cannot stop someone from carrying on business trade profession of his or her choice any agreement restraining it will be void whether the restraint is partial or whether it is complete every restraint is void but we have certain exceptions see for minor you can restrict that you know let the person turn major that is fine after majority you cannot restrict a person personal laws uh, they may define uh, the age but as per the contract act we are considering the age which is given in the majority act every act can have its own age of majority okay when we are selling goodwill okay when a business is sold along with a goodwill seller may be restrained from carrying on similar business within the specified local limits now x sold his gold jewelry business to y so he can tell y that you don't start a gold jewelry business in this particular area you can do it anywhere you want 
but not over here so that restriction in that area is valid you can restrict him from carrying on the business forever in that place but forever anywhere in india will be void agreement in which the ongoing outgoing partner like the partner who has retired someone who has retired okay if you say that now a b c are partners they have agreed that in case any of them retires then they will not carry on the business in similar area okay you will not carry on business for a reasonable period of time in this area then that is considered as valid so c has retired we can tell him that you will not carry on similar business in this area for 2 years okay you can specify the area you can specify the time that is valid but this time should be reasonable now what is reasonable it is not defined in act but 3 years is generally considered reasonable yes saurabh i will be sharing the notes in the whatsapp group and if you want to download the notes now then you can download it from the uh, link which is given in the description box saurabh service agreement now x tells y that you will work in my organization for 2 years as a trainee management trainee okay so in this case these 2 years this is a service bond it is valid service bond is valid that you will not leave the organization for 2 years that is valid 3 years is considered reasonable okay saurabh you can download this see i am sharing the link with you okay now x tells y that if you leave the organization of the company uh, if you leave the organization then you will not work with the competitor for 2 years there will be 2 years of pulling period it is not this high i'll change it to 6 months that is more reasonable you will not work with competitor for 6 months this is also valid yes this is also valid uh x is a person he is a doctor working in the government office he is uh, he is a doctor who is working in a government hospital so we can tell him that while you are working in the government hospital you will not work in any other hospital this agreement is also valid okay this agreement is also valid that you will work with us only article ship yes article ship that you will not work in any other firm that is valid it is valid it's not slavery it's not slavery you are investing money you are investing your time you are training them so you will want them to work in your organization for some time right agreements in restraint of legal proceeding section 23 or uh, sorry section 28 important for exam now x tells y that you cannot file a case against me yes kinari correct answer harshvardhan slavery nahi rakhta mujhe x tells y that even if i breach the contract even if i breach the contract you cannot file a case against me bhai ye kya baat hui If X has breached the contract, why will file a case? You cannot stop someone from filing a case; it's void. But this is very important. Parties have agreed that in case of dispute, we will refer to the arbitration. Now, arbitration is like out of court settlement. So they tell that we will settle out of the court. arbitration harshvardhan is out of court settlement you go to an arbitrator arbitrator is either an independent person or a person appointed by the court he will listen to the parties and he will give his opinion he will give a judgment if you are happy case solved if you are not happy then you can appeal to the high court you can go to the supreme court generally the companies which are very big which are very reputed go for arbitration 
or if suppose one foreign com company and one indian company is involved they go for arbitration it means a third party yes uh, arbitration ka exam dena padta hai harshvardhan uh, there is an exam there it's there there are uh, it's a professional uh, degree that you need to obtain you know you have to give exams for to become an arbitrator so if we agree that it shall be referred to arbitration then that is valid so a and b they decide that in case we are not happy with uh, sorry in case uh, there is a dispute okay if there is a dispute we will go to an arbitrator such agreement is valid because you are not stopping the person from taking legal action na but what if acha is pe exam question aaya tha okay this is important this an exam question was asked on this x and y they decide that we will file the case in mumbai court only see they have option to file the case in mumbai or delhi okay they can file case in both mumbai as well as delhi but they agree that we will file a case in mumbai court only so if the contract is specifying some specific court then that agreement is valid okay that agreement is valid that is also an exception this is valid you are not stopping a person from taking legal action na you are only specifying the court where the legal action can be taken so it is valid next we have one very important concept wagering what is the meaning of wager what is the meaning of wager what is the meaning of wager yes what is the meaning of wager no there is a uh, see for convenience sake parties agree that you know we can't travel so we will do it in mumbai or uh, they have restricted ki nahi nahi this is the place where my registered office is located so we will file it in mumbai only so you are not stopping people can always travel and they can enter uh, they can file a case yes wager means betting okay wager means betting so to pay a certain sum of money or money is worth upon future uncertain event like x and y they agree that uh, not agree they enter into a bet to so x bolta hai india will win the match and y says that no india will lose the match okay they have entered into a bet this agreement is void Okay, there is a bet. This agreement is void. To pay money or money is worth. This is important. Money or money is worth. Excellent answer, guys. Ayushi, correct answer. Money is worth. Add that also. Wagering is void. On happening or not happening of the event. Very good, Pratham. Now, wager is dash in Maharashtra and Gujarat. Tell me. wagering is void in india but it is dash in maharashtra wager is void in india but what about maharashtra and gujarat wagering is illegal therefore the collateral are void the collateral is also void yes correct answers harshvardhan bhumika kinnari very good very good the collateral is void correct answer correct what about agreements involving skill like kbc minute to minute or crossword puzzles where the answer is not available what about contracts involving skill then they are contracts involving skill
येस इलीगल आर वॉइड बट इलीगल कैरीज पनिशमेंट ऑल्सो सिंपली वॉइड मे नॉट हैव पनिशमेंट दैट इज द डिफरेंस दैट इज वाई वी हैव सेड इलीगल बिकॉज देर इज क्रिमिनल पनिशमेंट ऑल्सो एग्रीमेंट्स वेर इन स्किल इज इन्वॉल्व दे आर वैलिड बट वॉट इफ इट इन्वॉल्व ओनली चांस लाइक तीन पत्ती फ्लैश गैम्बलिंग इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ चांस देन दे आर वॉइड दे आर वॉइड लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट हॉर्स स्किल इज वैलिड येस गेम ऑफ स्किल आर वैलिड Yes, Bhumika, correct. Collateral in Maharashtra and Gujarat are void, whereas in others it is not void. Correct, correct. See, Dream Eleven is only selecting the team. You are not betting on every ball. So, Dream Eleven, that is why they are saying. But law बोलता है, if your state government allows, आप ये कर सकते हो. But if you lose and you सॉरी इफ यू विन एंड यू डोंट गेट मनी डोंट फाइल अ केस इन द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट बिकॉज हमारे लिए गेम ऑफ चांस इज वॉइड सो इवन इफ यू प्ले ड्रीम इलेवन योर 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 स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इज अलाउविंग इट बट इट इज नॉट एज फॉर द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट अगर आप जीत गए पैसे नहीं मिले तो केस फाइल करने मत आना इफ इन हॉर्स रेस द अमाउंट इज लेस देन फाइव हंड्रेड देन टेल मी इज इट बेटिंग और नॉट इज इट वेजर और नॉट Where the amount is less than un five hundred rupees, tell me. Where the amount is less than five hundred rupees, it is considered as wager and void. But if the amount is more than five hundred rupees, yes, tell me, guys. Yes, it is. Income tax may be aata hai. Less than five rupees is wager. More than five rupees, five hundred rupees is not wager. As per the Contract Act, okay. But of course, it is winnings from horse racing. So income tax to bharna hi padega uspe at a higher rate, okay? At a flat rate, is lottery wager. Is lottery wager? Is lottery wager? Yes, tell me. Is it wager? Yes, lottery is wager. But what if my state government is allowing it? Then you can buy lottery. You can sell lottery. Nobody is going to put you in jail. But if you win and you don't get money, then you can't file a case. No, lottery is considered as wager. Even if it is sanctioned by the government, see if you are saying that it is gambling, then it should be illegal. If you are saying that, Harsh. but lottery you can buy lottery you can sell lottery dealers can deal in lottery but if you win and you don't get money then you can't file a case if it were gambling then it will be considered illegal no so yes you can consider that you can say that it is illegal but you can buy lottery you can sell lottery if the state government allows yes even if it is allowed it is still wager as per the contract act so you can buy you can sell nobody is going to put you in jail but if you win and you don't get money to kuch nahi kar sakte you can't file a case in the court of law okay so you can buy lottery even if it is by the government you can buy and sell but you will not get any 
remedy in contract act okay speculative transactions they are valid as they involve some amount of risk but delivery also this is not there in your syllabus now it is just one liner in your module it's just one line in your module speculative is like share market okay speculative share market because there is delivery you have to deliver so there is some risk but there is delivery that is why it is valid that is why it is valid yes bull bear that is your share market transactions yes let us now discuss see if you are talking about intraday like buying and selling on the same day you pay tax and it is allowed okay you pay tax and that is allowed speculative market requires skill but that's hardly the case there is risk there is delivery if your only aim is to you know buy and sell to aapko tax at a higher rate laga dete hain wo you you pay tax at a higher rate and they are allowing it's like gambling only you know now in that if you want i'll give you the bifurcation okay i'll give you the bifurcation if you want over here see if the speculative transaction has risk only लाइक बाइंग एंड सेलिंग जो आपने बताया मेरे को बाइंग एंड सेलिंग वन विच यू मैंशन बाय ऑन द सेम डे सेल ऑन द इंट्रा डे तो देर इज रिस्क ओनली सो इट इज स्पेक्यूलेटिव इट इज इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज गैम्बलिंग देन इट इज वॉइड बट if there is risk plus delivery theek hai if you want you can write it this way if there is risk plus delivery then it is valid abhi clear hai then that is valid next students let us discuss performance of a contract या नमन इज एक्चुअली रिप्लाइंग ही इज रिमाइंडिंग मी कि मैम वो केस लॉ डिस्कस करना है ही इज रिमाइंडिंग मी एक्चुअली ओके ऑल राइट नाउ यस यस नमन आई रिमेंबर डोंट वरी ओके चलो परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कर लेते हैं सो वी हैव फिनिश्ड द फर्स्ट थ्री यूनिट्स एंड लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द फोर्थ यूनिट नाउ वेरी स्मॉल यूनिट्स फोर फाइव सिक्स तो फटाफट हो जाएगा नमन आई रिमेंबर करेंगे ना एंड ऑफ द लेक्चर में डोंट वरी ओके नाउ हु कैन परफॉर्म द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सी अप टिल नाउ वी डिस्कस अबाउट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट तो बन गया है अभी नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट परफॉर्मिंग द प्रोमिस मेड ओके सो वी हैव एंटर्ड इन टू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड नाउ वी आर जस्ट फुलफिलिंग द प्रोमिस मेड हु विल परफॉर्म obviously the one who is promising will perform the contract so the promiser himself will perform 
or it can also be performed by his agent. The promiser will perform the promise except the ones that require pers sorry. Your agent can perform except if it requires skill and consideration. Now, promiser himself will perform the promise. But if it doesn't involve personal skill, if the intention is not that the contract has to be performed by the promiser only, then it can be performed by either promiser or his agent. Okay, so yes, so contract may promiser himself can perform the promise section 40, correct? Yes, Jatin section 40. Or if there is no such intention, then the contract can be performed by the agent. Contract can also be performed by legal representative in case of death. In case of death, contract can be performed by the legal representative. But what if the contract involves personal skill, personal consideration like say for example, Lata Mangeshkar promised to sing at a concert but unfortunately she died. So now the contract cannot be performed by any other person. The contract becomes void. It cannot be performed. But if it was like um, sending of goods, it can be performed by the legal representative. Correct, person. The contract can be performed by the third person if the promisee agrees. Like X has to pay money to Y and X has to receive money from Z. So the best would be that Z should pay money directly to Y. If Y agrees, then the contract can be performed by a third person. Joint promise, this we will study separately in case of joint promise over here. Let's study joint promise separately. Very important for exam students, joint promise. Section 42, 43 and 44. Important for exam, 42, 43, 44. Then Harshwardhan, you can have legal heir or then in, the, in that case, the court will appoint someone. Okay. Yes, Naman, I also totally agree. My son, in fact, uh, wanted to meet Lata Mangeshkar. I don't know why. He wants to meet, he wanted to meet Lata Mangeshkar and yesterday only he was telling me. I wanted to meet Lata Mangeshkar and he wanted to meet Kishor Kumar. I said, Kishor Kumar ko to possible nahi hai. But uh, Lata Mangeshkar, he always said, Mama, I want to meet uh, Lata Mangeshkar. But unfortunately, that's not possible. So, <laughs> big loss to the industry, yes. Okay, so yes, Jatin, it's a very commonly asked question, 42, 43, 44 pay. Uh, the liability is joint and several, yes. So I am liable for my share and I am jointly liable with the others also. It means that any one person can be forced to pay the entire amount and he can't refuse. He can, he can be made to pay the entire amount and he can't say no because the liability is several. I am liable not only for my share but we are all jointly also liable. So X can be compelled to pay the entire amount but what if he pays the entire amount? He is not liable, no? Let's say that the amount is 30,000. What if he pays 30,000? Can he recover the share of other partners from them? Other promisers? Can he recover it from them? Yes. Yes, he has the right to claim contribution. So, he will recover 10, 10,000 from... X and Z, they are liable. What if we had gone to recover money from Y, but he is capable of paying only 50%, that is he can pay only 5,000, then what will happen to the remaining 5,000? The remaining 5,000, that is the deficit, the default, 
विल बी बोर्न इक्वली बाय एक्स एंड जेड सो दे विल बी लाइबल फॉर टेन थाउजेंड प्लस टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सो इट विल बी बोर्न यस इक्वली सो शेयरिंग ऑफ लॉस दिस विल बी इक्वल what if we release one joint promisor what if i release z what if i release z are x and y also released are x and y also released okay x and y they are not released they will be liable so release of x and release of z will not release x and y acha they will pay 15 15000 and then later they will recover the money from x sorry they will recover money from z they will give and then they can recover money from z next let us discuss reciprocal promise reciprocal means promise for a promise yes रेसिप्रोकल मीन्स मैंने प्रॉमिस दिया और मुझे सामने से भी प्रॉमिस मिला नाउ एक्स प्रोमिस टू सप्लाई गुड्स फ्यूचर में टू वाई एंड वाई ऑल्सो प्रोमिस टू पे मनी एट द टाइम ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बोथ हैव नॉट परफॉर्म देयर प्रोमिस नाइदर हैज एक्स गिवन द गुड्स नॉर हैज वाई मेड द पेमेंट बोथ विल डू इट दे हैव प्रोमिस आई विल पे ही सेंग आई विल गिव द गुड्स reciprocal promise they had asked small questions also if if the contract is mutual and concurrent what is the key word here students what is the key word in concurrent both the parties have to perform their promise what is the key word over here what is the key word over here in case the contract is to be performed mutual and concurrent what is the keyword over here mutual and concurrent the keyword is immediately simultaneously simultaneously yes simultaneously so we both will perform i will deliver the goods and you will make the payment at the same time simultaneously mutual and dependent it means first you perform your promise then i will perform the promise so here it is dependent on the performance okay it is dependent on prior performance this is the keyword it is dependent on the prior performance keyword in case of independently you perform your promise i will perform my promise both have decided their dates okay they will independently perform their promise both have decided their play, their their time independently they will perform yes yes correct correct yes correct answer jatin naman correct answer so over here in case of independent uh, independently i will perform my promise you perform your promise we are not dependent on each other both have decided their dates this is important for exam when one party prevents the other party from performing the promise the contract is voidable at the option of the party so prevented and he can also recover damages now let's say for example that x and y okay they have entered into a contract where x will 
रिमूव द रॉक्स फ्रॉम वाइज माइंड एंड वाई विल सप्लाई द इक्विपमेंट रिक्वायर टू रिमूव द रॉक्स नाउ वाई इज नॉट सप्लाइंग इक्विपमेंट एक्स के नॉट परफॉर्म हिज इज टास्क ऑफ रिमूविंग द रॉक्स अनलेस एंड अंटिल वाई सप्लाईज द इक्विपमेंट नाउ वाई इज प्रिवेंटिंग एक्स फ्रॉम परफॉर्मिंग हिज प्रोमिस द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज वॉइडेबल एट द ऑप्शन ऑफ एक्स it is voidable at the option of x contract is voidable now legal and illegal reciprocal promise we know this a contract consists of partly legal and partly illegal so the legal part will be valid and the illegal part will be void but if the things are inseparable then the entire agreement is void we know this we had studied this so if a if it consists of one part which is legal other part which is illegal if we can separate then legal is valid illegal is void time as a sense please highlight this as important for theory question section number is also important student section number is important you need to memorize the section number please memorize the section number time is a sense now in case of goods okay in case of goods time is always considered to be an essence time is a sense it is important to perform the contract on time if you don't perform the contract on time party will suffer loss like if i don't get the goods on time my production will suffer my sales will suffer but price is not considered to be essence in case of price time is not essence there may be some kind of delay okay in case of price time is not considered as an essence thoda bahut delay chalta hai yes harshvardhan of course this is there for may 23 also but for may 23 i would not recommend these lectures because we are doing a revision considering that you have already studied okay considering that you already know these things so what i am teaching is is Uh, just from revision point of view if you are a may 23 student then i would first advise you to go through all the full course lectures and then attend the revision lectures that will be better guys i'll just share my uh, full course uh, lecture link with you you can forward it to your friends acha ओके गाइस आई एम शेयरिंग द लिंक ऑफ माय सीए फाउंडेशन फुल कोर्स लेक्चर्स प्लीज रेकमेंड इट टू योर फ्रेंड्स वेरी गुड हर्षवर्धन वेरी गुड देन यू कैन अटेंड देन दैट्स फाइन इज द न्यूज confirmed bcr and bck to be excluded is it confirmed i don't think so because they are not mention anything over there as of now there is no official announcement i don't think so they are planning to sh uh, shift it to uh, mcq but uh, that will happen from may 23 it will happen from may 23 not now it's not confirmed it's just a draft and they have not specified anything related to the subject 
दे हैव ओनली सेड दैट इट विल बी एम सी क्यू बेस्ड इट विल बी एम सी क्यू बेस्ड सो इट इज पॉसिबल दैट दे मे कीप बी सी आर एंड मेक इट एम सी क्यू बेस्ड देर इज नो ऑफिशियल अनाउंसमेंट सो लेट्स नॉट स्पेक्यूलेट एंड एनी वेज इफ दे रिवाइज द सिलेबस द ओल्ड विल कंटिन्यू नो फॉर टू थ्री फोर अटेम्प्ट फाइव अटेम्प्ट सो जस्ट लाइक आई पी सी सी एंड इंटर द ओल्ड ओल्ड कोर्स विल कंटिन्यू फॉर सम टाइम एटलीस्ट यस वाई शुड वी थिंक अबाउट दैट वी हैव टू क्लियर इन दिस अटेम्प्ट ठीक है चलो वेर टाइम इज अ सेंस and if we fail to perform the contract becomes voidable the promisee the aggrieved party they can claim damages yes in case the time is assens it is voidable he can cancel the contract he can rescind the contract and he can claim damages yes he can claim damages so where time is not a sense the contract is not voidable the contract is not voidable in that case he can only claim damages so you need to remember this you cannot cancel the contract you can only claim damages so when time is a sense this will happen in case of commercial transactions and in case of non commercial transactions time is not an assets price is not considered to be an assets uh, sorry in case of price time is not assets thoda bahut delay chalta hai then we have appropriation of payment okay appropriation of payment last part i think then this Uh, then only discharge of contract will remain yeah we have almost come to an end almost come to an end okay appropriation of payment a owes several debts to b like 2000 3000 5000 he makes a payment of 4000 can we decide which debt is to be satisfied can we decide which debt is to be satisfied no because there are so many payments and he has made payment which is insufficient to satisfy the entire debt then law says how will we appropriate this 4000 the order in which it is to be appropriated is known as appropriation of payment okay it is appropriation of payment the first rule okay this is rule 1 the first rule says that do what the debtor wants debtor ka debt debtor ki marzi Debtor has expressly intimated. Then we will apply or apply it up accordingly. So we will apply as per the directions of the data. If data has not expressly intimated, data ne bataya hi nahi hai ki kaun sa debt satisfy karna hai. सर्कमस्टांसिस देखो वॉट इफ द डेट इज टू थाउजेंड थ्री थाउजेंड एंड फाइव थाउजेंड ही मेक्स पेमेंट ऑफ फोर थाउजेंड ही मेक्स पेमेंट ऑफ फोर थाउजेंड ही मेक्स पेमेंट ऑफ आई टेक टू थाउजेंड सर्कमस्टांसिस इम्प्लाय ही इज मेकिंग पेमेंट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ओके नाउ it is clearly indicating that the first debt is to be satisfied it is a clear indication saurabh indian contract act notes i'll share it in the whatsapp group maybe you have not joined the whatsapp group that is fine 
so if you are making payment which is indicating that you know the first debt is to be satisfied then we will satisfy the first debt data does not intimate okay rule 1 is not applicable data is not telling us circumstances do not imply then the creditor can apply it to any debt even time barred debt the only requirement is that you need to the only requirement is that you need to intimate the data fourth rule neither party appropriates rule 1 data is silent circumstances do not indicate anything creditor is a lazy person then law says you can appropriate it in the order of time but what if the first and the second debt they are on the same day then in that case law says if it is on the same day then you will appropriate it proportionately all right so proportionately 4000 will be appropriated to the first debt out of a total debt of 5000 and to the second debt 4000 Three thousand out of total debt of five thousand, so we will appropriate it proportionately. Mohit, the WhatsApp group link is in the description box of this video. You can join the WhatsApp group, and I will share. Okay. I'm sharing all the links. Here. This is the book. Okay. I'll just share it with you. Wait. This is the doubt solving group. this is the study group i'm sharing two links because sometimes the group becomes full hi sai how are you okay guys chalo with this we complete uh, the fourth chapter kya karna hai students continue karna hai ki should we stop and continue tomorrow because i think only half an hour uh, lecture is remaining so tomorrow we can complete discharge breach and contingent won't take time not more than half an hour or if you want i can continue till 9:30 it's your choice today we started little late so what do you want to do you want me to continue or should we continue tomorrow we'll finish the contract act and then go for partnership or sale of goods your wish tell me i can extend till 9:30 okay continue everyone kal <laughs> you tell me kaisa karna hai continue we'll finish contract act today then chalo then i think we'll continue that will be better chalo let's continue let's finish this ha huh? let's finish it i won't take more time okay in case of novation in case of novation discharge okay discharge by novation what happens in case of novation what are the key words in case of novation what happens in case of novation guys tell me okay we'll continue 10 15 minutes dekhte hai kitna kar paye okay 10 15 minutes more and then we'll stop chalo what happens in case of novation novation yes come on guys type type tell me answer answer what happens in case of novation innovation we enter into a new contract 
in place of the original contract okay we substitution of a new contract yes substitution of a new contract in place of original contract either between the same parties or different parties correct what happens in case of rescission then what happens in case of rescission in case of rescission the original contract is cancelled and no new contract is entered yes no new contract is entered what happens in case of alteration steffi correct answer bhumika correct answer neeraj correct answer ayushi correct answer in alteration parties remain the same yes steffi very good cancellation of old but no new contract is entered in alteration there is modification the original contract is performed in a modified manner parties must remain the same that is very important parties remain the same parties must remain the same yes in case of remission we are accepting a lesser fulfillment of promise and in case of waiver you are giving up your right to receive the performance from a party like say for example x promised to stitch a shirt for a singer if the singer sang for the old people in the old age home now singer sang he enjoyed he said no no it's okay it's for a good cause please don't stitch a shirt for me so he is waiving the performance okay he is asking x not to stitch the shirt that's waiver in case of death yes kinari jatin sai correct answer correct answer in case of death yes guys in case of death is the contract discharged in case of death is the contract discharged no in case of death it can be performed by legal representative yes correct answer jatin in legal representative can perform but what if it involves personal skill personal consideration then in case of death the contract is discharged then in case of death the contract will be discharged in case of insolvency i applied for insolvency on 1st april and i am declared as an insolvent on 15th may then i will be discharged for all the liabilities up to which date answer my question so in this case i will be discharged for debts up to which date tell me i will be discharged up to the debts de for debts up to 15th the day i am which on which i am declared insolvent correct unauthorized material alteration x sold a duplex flat to y okay sold a two floory flat two story
for 50 lakhs now the agreement has to be in writing x made changes in the agreement without consulting y now the changes are sale of only one floor y says you have done this change without asking me i am discharged this is an unauthorized material alteration i am discharged same identity of promiser and promisee x gave a bill of exchange to y for acceptance y accepted the bill x gave it to z z again to y now y has bills payable as well as bills receivable so y has both bills payable as well as bills receivable now you cannot pay the money to yourself other parties are discharged okay other parties are discharged no one will pay to pay money to anybody parties are discharged what is the meaning of actual breach of contract breach is a mode of discharge what is the meaning of breach of contract tell me students what is the meaning of breach of contract actual breach what is the meaning of actual breach yes fast tell me what is actual breach yes breach which takes place on the due date or breach which takes place during the course of performance okay breach which takes place on the due date thank you so much sai yes you can on the due date or during the course of performance what is the meaning of anticipatory breach anticipatory what is the meaning of anticipatory breach very good correct answer bhumika ankita correct answer guys you are all very consistent i am so proud of you kinnari correct answer sai correct answer anticipatory means breach which takes place before the due date now in case of actual breach of contract what is the remedy available to the aggrieved party in case of actual breach aggrieved party can rescind the contract as well as claim damages yes neeraj correct answer bhumika jatin kinnari ayushi sai stephi correct answer very good guys superb i'm proud of you bahut acha bolya correct 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 you can rescind the contract and claim damages okay claim damages in case of anticipatory breach the aggrieved party has two options the first option is cancel immediately or he can wait till the due date either cancel immediately or wait till the due date if you are terminating the contract immediately we can also claim damages if he is waiting till the due date of performance and the party performs then he will have to accept the performance plus make arrangement of money and we are waiting till the due date but even then the contract is not performed 
then we have no option but to rescind the contract on the due date we can we have to rescind and then we can claim damages students this is a very good chart for revising the entire concept i have a doubt over here i have a doubt please clear my doubt we are waiting till the due date okay we are waiting till the due date what if the contract is discharged due to supervening impossibility what if there is supervening impossibility then what will happen to the contract we are waiting till the due date but the goods are destroyed the contract is discharged due to supervening impossibility then will i be able to claim damages will i be able to claim damages if the contract is discharged due to supervening impossibility will i be able to claim damages no see wait karne mein risk hai there is risk in waiting if the contract is discharged no damages can be claimed because the contract is void due to supervening impossibility no damages can be claimed no we will not be able to claim damages so the entire so the entire concept is covered in this one chart okay the entire concept is covered here okay next who will tell me what is the meaning of initial impossibility impossibility is also a way of discharging the contract section 56 what is the meaning of initial impossibility and what is the impact of initial impossibility initial impossibility yes uh, we are coming to an end we'll end in 5 minutes guys we'll stop in 5 minutes just completing this part initial means it is void ab initio yes initial impossibility means that the agreement is void right from the beginning like x tells y i will bring a star moon from the sky it is void right from the beginning supervening impossibility means the contract was valid when it was entered but later on due to certain circumstances later on due to certain circumstances now it cannot be in performed later it becomes void so a promise to marry b but then a died or b died then the contract becomes void due to supervening impossibility initial impossibility means impossibility which arises at the time of contract and supervening impossibility means the impossibility which arises after the formation of contract yes law of limitation next we have law of limitation after 3 years parties are discharged parties are discharged after 3 years okay after 3 years parties are discharged performance actual or attempted performance is a mode of discharge of contract it is a mode of discharge चलो स्टूडेंट्स आज के लिए इतना ही करते थक गए अभी तो हम यस 
everybody is tired so let's wind up let's stop for the day and before leaving guys do give me a thumbs up if you have liked this video do give a thumbs up please like this video and i'm also sharing a link of my compiler as i already informed compiler is a book which contains all past exam papers mtp rtp it is available in soft copy also if you want it immediately 100% paper will be from that book only it's my guarantee so if you have studied the compiler like if you say ma'am i don't have time i don't have time to complete the entire syllabus now study only the compiler and you will pass yes i'm sharing a link of the compiler guys i'm sharing a link of the compiler in case you wish to buy it yes thank you so much neeraj thank you thank you and i hope to see you all in ca inter bas abhi wohi karna hai foundation to ho gaya pass aise hi samjho hum to pass ho gaye we have cleared foundation only aim ca inter yes so guys uh, i loved today's session and i hope you also enjoyed it thank you so much for joining do like this video before leaving and i'll see you tomorrow at 7 o'clock we will quickly complete the contract act and we may start with the partnership act or sale of goods act depends on the time that we have okay so let's do uh, sale of goods act because that is more important than partnership also chalo bye guys i'll see you tomorrow good night jatin is bar ho jayega last time maths mein you were not confident but this time your law paper was very good i went through your test paper it was nice to law mein to exemption hai is bar aapka law mein exemption hai so guys if you want to write test papers test papers are also available on my website you can write the test paper we'll check and get back to you bye 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 everyone bye 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 good night good night everyone i'm ending the stream here i'll see you tomorrow at 7 o'clock